Erica at Night with Rich Valdez. All right, America, welcome back. Rich Valdez, our phone number, 833-4-VALDEZ, if you want to join our conversation. And that new car smell could be bringing the risk of cancer, according to a new study. Uh, the study, let's see where it was, um, Cell Reports Physical Science, that's the uh, the publication, found something besides uh, the happiness that goes along with uh, smelling the new car scent. And this uh, also from a team in the Beijing Institute of Technology, where there's a bunch of researchers that found this as well, that these uh, VOCs, <clears throat> volatile organic compounds, uh, are potentially silent but deadly. And this is something that uh, I, I just didn't know was a thing, right, when it came to new car scent. And I said, oh, my gosh, let's uh, let's find an expert on this. And we have one. Christine Padovan is a toxicologist here to help us make sense of all this. Christine Padovan, welcome. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. I'm happy that you're here uh, because if there's one thing I love about a, a new car is how it smells. And the fact that new car scent might be bringing the risk of cancer was, I mean, not only just, you know, um, disconcerting, but um, it sounds kind of crazy that, you know, a scent could be harmful. Tell us how that works. Well, it's it's kind of interesting. I mean, our, our noses kind of fool us in a sense when we are smelling something and we think, oh, there's a sweet smell. And you think, oh, that's that must be nice because it smells good. It kind of fools your, your brain into thinking, oh, I, I want to breathe in more of this. But it's actually, it's, it's not. I mean, it's kind of the opposite of, of what you think it is. And long-term, like say for long-term, when we say long-term, a year or more of breathing that in, they started to notice that over time that people would develop, you know, down the road, uh, things like leukemia and uh, other cancers that affect the nose and throat and uh, lung area, and um, started testing, you know, looking at vinyl chloride and um, trichlorobenzene and formaldehyde and those chemicals that make that new car smell and found out, well, you know what, they're actually kind of toxic. And how is it that actually happening? What is it about this this scent that makes it toxic, or what in it does that? Well, your body starts to gets a bit of a, a reaction. I'm going to say it's almost like it's an allergic reaction, and then starts to not that we're noticing it, but your body inside is starting to get inflamed uh, from constantly breathing that in. And some people look at that as oh, I just had this headache uh, from having been in the car too long. They think, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing to be worried about. And it actually is because that's your body telling you, okay, it, it's breathing. It's getting something in it that it knows it shouldn't be getting. And it needs to, it wants it to get out of it. But now you've got something that's kind of stuck in you, which needs help getting out if you don't, know that it's hurting you yeah now what what's i guess your advice to to people that uh should we be concerned should there be a warning label on those little trees that we like to hang in our car that smell like new car scent well they're they're starting to look at that too and that air fresheners as well have this kind of issue and the best thing to do when you have a new car it's got that very strong new car smell, we'll just call it that, odor in it. Uh, you want to air it out, number one, as you're driving, which is hard to do in the winter. So, you know, we can't keep our windows open all the time. Activated charcoal, and they sell it now in bags. Uh, I actually provide a link, but we actually put a little video on our Rumble channel on rumble.com. And people can look that up through um, the Paladina. <laughs> they, they look that up on there. 
And then we talk about chemical fires and we talk about uh, the toxicity out there in the air. Activated charcoal will start to absorb those fumes and odors from those chemicals being admitted from, from the material. And that's a really good way to protect the body, to protect you and your pets who are traveling with you in the car, anyone. And those activated charcoal bags are great because they can last up to two years wow. and protect you. Yeah. Um, the, other, the other thing that we tell people to do is that there's a great company called Valara that makes NASA-inspired technology, and they have car adapters that help to neutralize the fumes and odors from chemicals as well. And that's another protectant. We, we work with uh, one of the reps at Valara to, you know, give people a, a price break on their products because of all this stuff happening now that people are aware that these toxins can cause illnesses and diseases down the road. Wow. Well, straight ahead, I want to get into a little bit of your personal story of how you got involved in, in this um, study of toxicology uh, as we return. All right, America, welcome back. Our guest is Christine Padavan. Uh, she's a expert in heavy metal poisoning, a toxicologist, and uh, I want to get into her story of, of how she got involved in this world. Christine Padavan, how did that happen? Well, um, it happened by being intentionally poisoned. Um, I was intentionally poisoned with a concoction of heavy metals, um, arsenic, barium, thallium, which is illegal in the U.S., wow. titanium, vanadium, a bunch of others. Um, over a long period of time, it was like over a three-year period, and um, and what they do to get to get away with the crime in creating artificial allergies and illnesses and getting a cutback from the doctors and pharmacists that are taking care of you is to hide it from view with nanotechnology so that if you took like a regular uh, doctor test like LabCorp or Quest Diagnostics, it would show nothing. And uh, I'm a pretty... <laughs> sci-fi, you know, science geek type of person. I always want to know root cause. So I used, and I knew a crime was happening, so I used forensic, full forensic modalities, which burns away the nano and shows you the whole kitchen sink of what is in you. And that's how I, I figured out exactly how they were creating these, you know, conditions of ulcerated colitis similar to uncontrollable diarrhea that you see all those pharmaceutical ads for, you know, for how to control your UC or IBS symptoms. Now, was the poisoning that you experienced um, the the intention of a single person that was coming after you per se, or was this like a blanketed thing where you were part of a group of victims? Um, this actually was someone that had come into my, uh, well, now ex-husband's a circle. Um, she was a, a former heroin and drug addict, um, and her parents were former and current nurses. So she wow. had gained this knowledge, and then she was uh, using other people to, you know, continue her dirty work. So it wasn't just me that was being targeted, it was other family and friends as well. And, um, and that's how I figured out they had kind of a network scheme going on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, of course, it involved police cases and FBI and stuff like that. And it's um, I can't tell say too much about it because it's still kind of ongoing, an ongoing case. Sure. Wow. Well, very fascinating. Tell me uh, about how you're able to help people now, having been through that. Uh, how, how have you been able to help people, or is it a goal of yours to help others? Yeah, actually, uh, I've been doing this for, I'd say, for the last couple of years when actually once I got out of that and recovered and and had, uh, you know, figured all of this out, I've been actually putting together uh, to create Paladina International to be a global teaching service because I saw how many medical doctors they don't have they don't have recent up-to-date toxicology 
education. Uh, law enforcement doesn't either. Um, when you're when you're talking to small town cops, when you talk about poisoning, um, they really don't understand it. And especially now with nanotech, hiding it in regular testing, it's very imperative to bring this information out to the masses so that if they understand if they have a symptom that could be you know, a headache out of the blue, uh, blurry vision, nausea, and uh, diarrhea, nerve issues, all that, it can be from toxicity. Now, not necessarily intentional, but there's a lot out there that I'm seeing. That's why I, it's imperative people understand, especially with these chemical fires, derailment spills, and all that, uh, toxicity can come from anywhere. Right. And um, tell us about Paladina International. So the company was first created years ago when I was in the uh, voiceover and acting business, and it still encompasses uh, my my narration work and uh, voiceover work as well. But um, basically now it, it is for a resource for anything to do with health and wellness, but spe specializing in toxicity toxicity education, how to safely detoxify and reverse all these symptoms and illnesses and diseases, because most doctors will think, uh, you know, we'll just throw a medication at the symptom. But if you actually do the testing, which is what we're teaching, to forensically test and reveal the root cause, you actually can help the person detoxify and reverse everything. And, and we can actually make everyone, uh, including animals, um, better just by detoxifying them. Fascinating, but it makes a lot of sense. Folks, our guest is Christine Padavan. She's a toxicology expert uh, with Paladina International, and we're going to be getting to your calls straight ahead. Don't go anywhere. Our guest is Christine Padavan. She's the founder of HeavyMetalPoisonCenter.com. Uh, let's go to Sue in Schwenksville, Pennsylvania, WXDE. Go right ahead, Sue. You're on with Christine Padavan and Rich Valdez. Hi. I'm, I'm fascinated by this topic. You know, I've always wondered, um, you know, the idea of smells at all, like if you smell paint or food or whatever it is, uh, first of all, my one question would be, when you're smelling something, you're actually getting particulate of that thing into your nasal passages is what I've always assumed or I've always read. And my other question has to do with, you know, like say not just for new cars, but if you get like new carpet in your house or, you know, there's outgassing that takes place in some of these synthetic materials and also dyes in clothing and in, in uh, you know, medicines and things like that. And I wondered too, whether or not as a person gets older, whether their response to these uh, toxic elements is greater or less. Thank you, Sue. Christine? Yes, that's a great question, Sue. Um, basically, we do get more resistant as adults. It's similar to collagen, the glutathione level, this was found in, in toxicology in, in recent years, the glutathione level in our bodies also slows down in production. And that's what gives us protection from, from toxins and viruses out there. So we actually found, and this is what, what saved my life, is that glutathione, if you take it as a, as a daily supplement, those toxins that we breathe in, and as you're talking about, like particles, we're, we're, we are actually finding that more. There's more tiny particles that are are getting stuck in the air from from pollution just from regular air pollution of course now we've got so much more going on with these with these uh, spills and and chemical fires so you're right to be concerned um, we do need to as adults start to protect ourselves more and also think about our kids and and pets and and wildlife and plants around us as well so, um, yeah, you, 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 you do point something out um, very key. Thank you, Sue. 
And I want to continue. I want to go to Andrew. He's in South Lake, Texas on KLIF. Big shout out to everybody listening on KLIF and their sister station, WBAP. Uh, Andrew, go right ahead. Yeah, thanks for taking the call. Um, I'm actually an air conditioning contractor, and we sell a product for this purpose exactly. And I found it to have a, a great effect. It actually breaks down bubble gases by using ultraviolet light against a titanium oxide plate. And it's very effective. It, it converts those bubble gases like um, benzene and other things coming out of your carpets and drapes and floor coverings, and just basically down to uh, carbon dioxide. It's very effective. I've had many sensitive customers that have benefited greatly from it. Thank you, Andrew. Christine? Yes, actually, Valera does the same technology um, that you guys are talking about, and it is fantastic, and it is amazing to be able to have these products that keep the air and, and also the products that also they make to keep the water clean in your home to um, neutralize all that. And, um, yeah, there is, it's, these are fantastic products and, and actually much needed now for sure. All right. And uh, I guess final word to you, uh, Christine Padavan. What what can people do? What steps can they take in addition to, you know, getting the, the right filtration on their air conditioning and being, I guess, cognizant of what they, you know, breathe and, and take in? Uh, but what's your, your, I guess, your best uh, advice to people to stay healthy? The best advice uh, I, I tell people is, is, is to get on glutathione. It, it's a natural supplement. Uh, it's uh, water-soluble like vitamin C. And if they take a, and the normal adult dose is 500 milligrams a, a day, if they take that and, um, and some other foods that are high in glutathione, which would be bay leaf water, cilantro, avocado, they actually will keep toxins, and this works for anything, metal, chemical, you name it, it will come out. And keep that from sticking to the body. And it's also antiviral, by the way. It does help with, with viruses, including uh, COVID-19. That was also scientifically proven back in 2020. So that's my best advice for, for everyone. Outstanding. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate your uh, your insight on the topic. Uh, folks, Christine Padavan, founder of HeavyMetalPoisonCenter.com and Paladina International. Christine Padavan, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Rich. You bet. My pleasure.